What is going on YouTube? My name is Justin, also known as Gaming Spider YT here on YouTube.com, and welcome to another edition of Titanfall News here on my channel. Today we have some really, really awesome information to cover, starting with the very first ever Titanfall DLC coming in May of 2014. Now this new DLC for Titanfall will be entitled Expedition, and it will come with the season pass for Titanfall if you already have it. This DLC will include three maps called Runoff, Swamplands, and War Games. For those of you guys that wanted new guns and game modes, don't worry because Respawn have confirmed that they are working on those features as well. One new game mode coming soon is called Wingman LTS, which is just like Last Titan Standing except for 2v2, but don't worry, they are working on new game modes and new guns very, very hard, and they will get those out when they can. So now getting deeper into the descriptions of these maps, we have Swampland, Runoff, and War Games once again, reiterating those three names for the maps. So Swampland will be a jungle-like map with lots of vines to zip on and also lots of trees to do really awesome parkour on. Runoff will be a very watery map, possibly flooded, while War Games will be a map based on the game's training simulator that you first play when you put in Titanfall. Now while this DLC doesn't sound like it will be a lot, you guys need to remember this is Titanfall's very first ever DLC, so they will be only releasing three maps for this one. Uh, but expect a lot more in the future, such as guns, game modes, more maps, etc. Among other major Titanfall news recently, an upcoming Titanfall update will bring an ability to rename custom loadouts and more loadouts per mode and enhancements to challenges into the game. So in short, they're kind of just refreshing the challenges and they're adding in more loadouts into the game that you can get, possibly being unlocked through higher levels, I'm not quite sure about that yet. And they're also adding in the ability to rename your custom classes like you can in Call of Duty games. Also some really good news for MLG and eSport fans, Titanfall has added eSport compatibility with their most recent update to the PC and the Xbox One when they added in private matches. This update will be coming to the Xbox 360. But we are not sure when, as EA has not released a release date for this yet. But that's really, really cool because I'm looking forward to playing Titanfall competitively, or at least attempting to play Titanfall competitively. And I'm looking forward to watching other people play competitively too, because it's it's going to be an interesting game when it comes to competitive gaming, because of all the dynamics in it. And I don't know, it'll just be really, really cool, so that's some really awesome piece of news. And that's pretty much all I'm covering today, guys, so before I leave, I want to get your guys' opinion. What do you guys think about Titanfall as an eSport? Be sure to comment down below if you would like to. I love reading everybody's comments. So yeah, guys, that brings me to the end of today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like rating. It will really, really help out my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe for all the latest top-notch Titanfall news. So yeah, guys, until next time, my name is Justin, also known as GamingSpiderYT here on YouTube.com. Signing off, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.